And new tonight over on Worthington Street in Springfield, six local artists are bringing ghost images back to life that showcases the history of the city of firsts. 22 News reporter Melissa Torres spoke to these artists about their inspiration for this mural restoration project. It's important to Springfield because it, it just brings us back in time. We're not just a deteriorating city. We can renew ourselves. We can create new spots for people to hang out and bring color into the downtown. John Simpson had a vision to rework some of the old photography ads on the wall of what once was a five-floor photography supplies building called Bloom. He formed a strong team of local artists from different backgrounds to bring back to life the iconic advertisements that once graced the walls of this historic building. It started out as a project to uh, be about history of Springfield, to be educational. But it wound up becoming more and more about like a conservation project mixed with a historical and educational project. The team of artists wants to bring people back to the 1960s and add color and life through a variety of images, such as local inventors, to the famous Springfield Indian motorcycle, and even images from Dr. Seuss books. I really want people to see the amount of love and care that the people who are working on this wall are putting into it for them. So this is love that I'm putting on this wall, and I just want to project that out to the city. If you drive by, you'll see scaffolding all along the side of the building, with artists working away to preserve many images that represent the remarkable history of Springfield. We can do some more things like this in the city. I would love, I would love to add to you know the value of Springfield. I look forward to us like uh, uh, finishing this and. Uh, and developing it to the point where we can just sit here and stare at it for hours and have a lot of fun things that people can see and learn about the city of Springfield. The artist taking this ghost wall and reimagining it to represent the Springfield of yesterday, today, and tomorrow. Working for you in Springfield, Melissa Torres, 22 News.